Joining me now, Laura Ingram, editor-in-chief of LifeZet, host of one of the country's most popular radio programs, The Laura Ingram Show, also Fox News contributor and extraordinarily sagacious when it comes to matters of politics. And you're, in, you. the, you're in the den of it all now. Uh, I, I have to say the most spectacular picture, uh, the president and president-elect, I mean, they seem to, if pictures, pictures may lie as well as tell, you know, be as good as a thousand words, Laura, but they looked like they were right glad to meet each other. Well, that might have been a slight exaggeration, but I, <laughs> I think Trump, <clears throat> Lou, Trump was uh, over, almost overly complimentary to President Obama, but nevertheless, it was a very nice sentiment. Uh, President Obama did not say anything a personally complimentary about Donald Trump. Uh, Donald Trump's like, well, he shared with me all of his great accomplishments or something like that. And like, I'll be looking forward to getting his counsel. Called often. him a good it's man. Like, yeah. Yeah. Now, you know, it's like, whoa, no, what about the, let's back off on the counsel. You know, we know we don't want too much counsel from Obama, but I'm, I'm kind of kidding. This, it makes people. You're kind of kidding. You're not kidding uh, at all. No, Come I don't on. Want any, I don't want to bomb anywhere near the White House again, except for maybe, you know, fun parties every now and then. But, uh, but look, I think President-elect um, Trump, I still can't believe we're saying it, but President-elect Trump... has a ring Trump, to it, doesn't it? It does sound President Trump. It's easy to say. But President-elect uh, uh, Trump, I think, has really gone above and beyond in reassuring the nation that he, he takes this very seriously. And he is you know, very uh, excited about working with Paul Ryan in Congress. And he's going to get I'm sorry, say his that again. priorities through. He's very he's what? He's excited about working with Paul Ryan on his agenda, not Paul Ryan's agenda. His agenda. It takes agenda. Paul Ryan two seconds to get to better way. Everybody walks around going, what the hell did the speaker just say something about a better way? Is well, <laughs> the hashtag better way. That's his uh, yeah, that's plan of ideas. But I know no, it's 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 quite something after a couple of weeks ago, we heard Barack Obama say that Donald Trump was inhuman. Right and uh, un-American yeah. and unfit for the presidency and then shaking his hand in the Oval Office and showing him where the bathrooms are and, and all the rest. So quite a, quite a picture. Well, it's also a pretty picture in a way, I, too, yeah. I mean, in, in, in a number of ways. It, it's good to see. Now, I've got to tell you, I am such a base and petty man that if Paul Ryan had done to me what he did uh, to Donald Trump, my hands would, without, without any power to resist at all, would be clutching at his throat. Uh, yeah, well. And I have to say, Donald Trump was very presidential. He actually may be seeking to attain the level of saint here uh, in what he has tolerated. I, I, have, to commend, uh, I have to commend the president-elect. He, he did extraordinarily well in constraining himself and being generous of spirit and heart. It was amazing. Well, Don't that's the person. Yeah, that's the person I know. Though, I mean, it, that, it doesn't surprise me because that's the way he is with his employees. That's the way he is with. Well, his it's, employees it's, would never betray him like the, uh, Paul Ryan you know, did. Laura, come on. I understand that, but I, I also think when you watched him, and I was at the Hilton, mm -hmm. right? You know, right when we walked out uh, on election night mm -hmm. or morning, the, the day after, mm -hmm. whatever it was, three in the morning. <laughs> right saw, after he was elected. Yeah, you saw his his eye. He teared up a little bit. I mean, he. They all on that stage, whether it was Jared Kushner or Let the president repeat. or Steve He's Bannon. He's sitting next were... to the man who betrayed him, and he is still generous of spirit and, and strong of heart. Well, and, you know, you know, I mean, Lou, in the Bible, in the Bible, you know, we know it's harder to be nice to the people who are hurtful to you than it is to be nice. It's easy to be nice to the people who like you. It's much harder to pray for and, and, and work with people who maybe made some mistakes along the way. And... Donald Trump made I'm going to have to go too, through, Paul Ryan, I'm going to have to go Paul through Ryan those passages mistakes. with Robert Jeffress. Pastor Jeffress is going to have to reschool me on that one a little bit. I'm, but look, but, uh, the most important thing, and Trump knows this, like why should Trump pick a fight with Paul Ryan now? It's, it's Trump's party. Yeah. Paul Ryan knows that. If Donald Trump doesn't want something to get passed through Congress, it's not getting passed through Congress. They're okay? off he, to Paul a, Ryan's not going to go home and, and campaign uh, at campaign time and say, ha, huh, I defy Donald Trump. How, how well do you think that would work after Donald Trump, without much help from Paul Ryan, actually won the state, contrary to what all these so-called experts on television were advocating and predicting? So I don't think Paul Ryan wants to go home and tell his constituents that he defied Trump. With both houses of Congress soon uh, 
soon the Supreme Court as he uh, uh, starts moving his uh, justices to, toward uh, confirmation. Uh, it, it, this is going to be Trump's government in its entirety, something we haven't seen. And I have to say, we're, a, we're two days into a, a transition period, 70 days away from him being sworn in. But I have to say, he's off to one heck of a great start, don't you think? The first 100 days, I, I do, and I think the first 100 days of his presidency is going to be chalk full of initiatives, uh, rescinding executive actions that were unconstitutional or, or just outrageous. Mm -hmm. He's going to move fast on this Obamacare redo, whatever we want to call it. Uh, and he's going to move very quickly on the immigration priorities that help get him elected. Build that wall. Uh, I hope they'll work on it. it what did you really say there, Laura? I, I missed that. Well, I think he's going to work on his priorities. Did you say build that wall? Yeah, he's going to build that wall, okay. and I think that uh, I think ultimately he's going to have to uh, grapple with these other immigration issues, sure not is. amnesty, but reducing the levels of overall immigration, which have been. Yep. You know, I, Laura, we can, we can't go through the whole hundred days here tonight, but you know what? I agree with you. We're up to a heck of a start. Kind of yep. feels good, doesn't it? It does feel good. It's the first time I felt this way about a Republican president, uh, probably since I was in college when Reagan uh, Reagan was uh, reelected. Those were the days, and these are as well. Thanks so much, yep. Laura. Great to have Thanks. you with us. We're